Our next guest is a Neil Diamond impersonator who has done more than eight thousand shows tonight he's taken over the skirmer horn, horn symphony center with sweet caroline tour jay white is the man who will be taking the stage tonight welcome in happy to have you here we are so happy to be here oh okay it's going to be a ton of fun what can the audience expect neil diamond's greatest hits live on stage i've got costumes that reflect uh, and uh, are copies of of what neil wore on stage and really we're kind of portraying the 80s and 90s era of Neil Diamond, which is kind of, the, those were his peak concert years. And so, uh, and so that's, that's what we'll, be, we'll bring to the stage, yeah. Okay, more than 8,000 shows. How exciting. So you've met him before, correct? We have met on two separate occasions, uh, both times in Las Vegas. Uh -huh. And uh, the first time we met, we took a photograph together and he signed it and he wrote, keep singing so I can stay home and relax. <laughs> And, and I don't know if our director can zoom in on this, but here is that photo right here. It's pretty special. I love how he says that. He says, uh, yes, stay home and relax, uh, or keep, keep singing, singing so right. he can stay home yeah, and exactly. relax. Um, so what's really cool about this show is the band yeah. that you're singing with is pretty special. Well, they are. Uh, I'll start by saying my son is the bass player in the band, which is great to have my son there, but also uh, uh, King Arison is a percussionist who uh, played with Neil. We have played on every Neil Diamond album and concert tour since 1974 uh, until Neil retired in, in 2017. And so uh, during that uh, 2017 tour, that was his 50 year anniversary tour, mm -hmm. uh, Neil also brought back a, uh, a Nashville local, uh, Richard Bennett, who's a singer songwriter, and, uh, and his son, Nick Bennett, uh, who plays in my band now, uh, and so the two of them got to play on stage with Neil back in 2017, along with King. And so to have these people playing in my band on a full-time basis, uh, it's just, it's a tremendous thrill. Wow. You know, it's, I, I, Neil Diamond's story is, is very interesting. He started from very humble roots, then became one of the best-selling artists of all time in America. Right. Uh, do you identify with him at all when you are impersonating him? Do you identify with him off stage? Well, it, not off stage so much, but but certainly I try to to portray him and 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 kind of create his essence on stage when I'm performing. Yeah, he came from Brooklyn, New York. He was a songwriter for seven years and uh, got fired from seven different publishing companies in Brooklyn or in New York. And uh, uh, just he just kept at it until finally somebody said, you know what? No one else is singing your songs as a songwriter. Why don't you sing them yourself? And so he took that route and started off in the little coffee houses in, in New York. And one thing led to another and his career took off. But yeah, I grew up in Detroit, Michigan and, and really in a small town in a, a lower middle class neighborhood. And, and uh, I had no clue that one day I would be a singer performing for a living. I, when I started out, I thought, well, this will last a couple of years and then it'll kind of fizzle out. That'll be the end of it. And here I am 35 years later and it's going strong. Okay, the Sweet Caroline tour. Why do you think Sweet Caroline has been such a staple song in our country's history for countless years? Right, well, I think the, the concerts that I went to uh, of Neil's back in the 80s and 90s, um, uh, it, there was a lot, one of the things I noticed that was really important to me as a, as a not only a, a viewer, but a performer, was that he was, he was very engaging with the audience. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I think it just kind of, I don't know, through some you know, osmosis or something. Uh, one of his tours about, about 25 years ago, he was out on tour and, and he performed that song the way he had always done before. And for some reason, the audience started to join in and started to sing along. And as people heard about that, every city he went to, they started doing it. Then pretty soon, bands at colleges and, and high schools were playing it, and uh, piano bars were playing it, and you just, you hear it everywhere. And so it's just, it's just become one of those fun songs that everybody can kind of sing along with, even if you don't have a good singing voice, you know? Well, that's me, exactly. <laughs> I have a terrible singing voice, but it is my favorite karaoke song to sing. Of course, yeah. Hey, I have nothing on you, though. What's your favorite part about tonight? What's the end? About performing? Say it again. Favorite part? My, my favorite part. Oh gosh, you know, um, I, really, yeah, getting the audience engaged. He's got a song called "Forever in Blue Jeans" um, that really get kind of gets the audience going. Sing alongs like "Song Sung Blue." Um, so yeah, that, and then and then the song that really 
that uh, uh, most describes Neil and his personality is a song called I Am I Said. Ooh. And he really considers that his autobiographical song. Amazing. Yeah. It's going to be so much fun. Thank I'm you so much. I'm looking forward to it. It'll be great. Everyone, sing along with Jay and enjoy Sweet Caroline, a Neil Diamond concert celebration. For more information, visit NashvilleSymphony.org.